All right, fellas. Long time announced, even long attested, uh, our VPN is out for sale. So we have everything set up. The VPN is tested, like, you know, from the top till the bottom, from the bottom to the top, from right to left, from <laughs> left to right. Uh, I mean, I mean it. Yeah, the VPN is up and running. Everything is ready. We have already sent out a couple of trials for some guys, you know, who was doing the testing and who were first time users. So appreciate also the time for them, uh, of those guys. Um, and that being said, today's video is all about our VPN. So this means all the hard work that we put in, all the time that we invested, all the, um, all the suffering that we put inside there, you know, developing this kind of an app is really taking a lot of energy, you know, next to your job and everything. So, um, and I'm really excited because we're bringing finally back, you know, the, the, the feeling of COD, okay? The, the thing where you just play and you have fun. I mean, I told it in my previous videos, you know, seeing people really having fun again in COD um, brings me joy. And I'm happy that we can, that we can launch it but I said, we literally launched it like 15 minutes ago, um, live. So this means you can go on our homepage, www.easygamevpn.com and directly shop. So there are free packages. Uh, there's a basic pro and advanced and, you know, they have like 10, 15 and 20 servers. Everything is described there. Have a look at it. Um, and in today's video, I will also show you like how to use it so that you do not make any kind of mistakes and that you see, okay, what's going on. And of course, there will be continuous development on that one. But I will explain a little bit more to that about a little bit later. Um, so once again, you know, if, if you're just new to that. So um, as most of you know, I'm working in IT and I've been working like more than 15 years. Now it's more than 16 or 17 years. I actually lost track in IT and I was doing a lot of uh, IT projects, network related projects. I mean, I was building up everything when it comes uh, to IT. And that's basically my background where I said, okay, let's do a VPN as well for, uh, for the COD players. Uh, the main reason why it actually took so long for us to launch the product was not really like the development itself, although yes, the development was really time consuming, um, but more time consuming was actually making the, you know, setting up the company, getting all the legal stuff done, uh, getting the certificate as well done for our, for our program so that everybody knows, okay, we're legit, you know, there's no the virus behind it, etc. Although I must say the, the, the certificate as of today, November 26th, is being installed across all over the, the, the servers, certification, uh, certification authority servers. This means if, if you have the application as of today or maybe tomorrow or within this week, it can be that it's still being launched as uh, unsafe. That's just because, you know, the certification authorities need a couple of days until everything is updated across all over the, you know, all the Windows PCs and which are out there. I mean, I can tell you like a whole story how this is working, but this is not the topic of today. Um, so how is our VPN working? So basically, we have specific packages, uh, and this is really like not just for the start, okay? Uh, we have specific uh, packages, as I mentioned, there are three types of packages, all one month, and there's also like the seven days uh, basis, if you would like to try it. Okay. Well, I'll try it, you still have to pay for it. Uh, for those who really want to have a trial, we have also like a trial package with, with even a more limited amount of, of service, it's always more or less randomized. Um, but if you would like to have access to that one, please reach out directly to me because I will trigger that separately. We do not give the trial like this just away. Uh, that being said, uh, we do not only have like the VPN up and running, but we also have the easy fans, which means we not only allow you, you know, that you can connect to another location, but we also say, hey, you can literally physically select where you would like to play on, on which kind of server. So, and I will show this as well in our app in one second, okay? Um, and speaking of that, let's jump into the app. So our app is fully Windows based with the newest technology .NET 6. So it's like, how to say it? It's like the top edge technology, you know, everything kind of updates, everything happening smoothly. Uh, there's no uh, virus warning when you start it up, you know, like some other providers, not to name anybody, but generally this is how it looks like, okay? It's a super simple tool, super fast. Also, this is the main point. We was really looking at the speed perspective here. And 
how does it work? So basically, you have four options on the left side. Um, it's once is the easy VPN, second easy fence. I mean, the name you know should already explain what it is. Then you have our easy fixes, of course, and connections to our socials. Make sure to follow us, or at least try to follow us. <laughs> um, because we will communicate in all the changes there, right? And especially in our Discord. If you're not in our Discord, make sure that you get in our Discord. There you can get all the information that you need. Um, but getting back to the EasyVPN. So if you would like to connect to a specific location, which is helping you to to, uh, to get an easier lobby in uh, Warzone or in Call of Duty, uh, just feel free to select anyone. We have currently 20 locations, or better said, up to 20 locations in our packages inside. So as I mentioned, there are three type of packages. Um, you can see it. We have Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Chile, China, England, Finland, India, uh, double time India because it's a huge country, uh, Indonesia, Israel, Japan, um, what else? Malaysia, Nepal, Qatar, Singapore, Taiwan, and double time US. Um, US California, for me at least, is really good working, by the way. Um, and there will be also bonus countries, uh, which will be available to everybody, never mind what kind of package you took, uh, never mind which kind of package you took. Um, but here we're still working with the providers how we can enable them all the time, because sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off, and we still have to figure that out. But here on that one, on your package countries, the package that you selected, you will have them always available. Main point is that we're working on our patch package countries with the biggest providers in the world and we make sure that we have the best server locations available. This means also that in any case, something goes wrong, we have them up and running in like five minutes latest. Um, and during the whole time that we was testing, like literally starting from I think July or even June back, uh, Non, not a single server has crashed, so they always have been available. Once again, but this is also the price that we're paying for that, to be honest. Yeah, this this is premium here. Um, and of course, you have our easy fence. So the easy fence is something different than the easy than the VPN. So the VPN is, you know, just responsible for your login location. And I will explain this in detail more. Okay. Um, the easy fence itself is just making sure that you play on a specific area or you can exclude specific areas if you would like to call it like this way. So for example, if I would play, right, and I have connect, I don't know, I connect myself to, to, to Brazil, Sao Paulo, okay? You see, it's taking like roughly somewhere between six to 10 seconds on the average when you connect the strict. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. So we have always like two types of connections, pair, um, Per country, you can either connect via strict or if you want, you can connect via moderate. I always recommend that you play via strict. This is having for me the best uh, impact, but moderate is also giving you like some nice lobbies here. Um, but still, I would always recommend to go with strict. At least this is my experience. On the right top, you see when you're connected um, and here's the neat part, right? I showed this in a second for you. Okay, we will not disconnect. This connect usually takes also between one and five seconds. Um, let this connect again to Sao Paulo. So I connect, and while I'm connecting, I can actually go inside and already select, okay, I would like, I don't know, I would like to play in Europe, uh, only on European servers, but I don't like to play on German servers, as I mentioned a couple of times before, because they, I think they're all kind of too sweaty for me. Uh, don't forget, I'm 36, 37 years old, so... You know, my fingers are not the fastest anymore and I like more to chill. And I can activate as well the process in the meantime, which means, you know, you don't have to wait here, you know, until the connection is up and running. I don't know what kind of hardware you have, what kind of internet connection you have. Sometimes this can take longer. So you can in the meantime already go ahead and say, okay, I'm going to do and activate the, the easy fence here. Um, and that being said, this is how you literally use this application, Okay. This is it. Um, the easy VPN itself will increase your ping like minimal. You know, we're speaking about up to 10 MS. Uh, the easy fence itself will increase your ping dramatically because you're physically playing then on a different location. I always recommend if you play like with the VPN, you should also play with the uh, easy fence at the same time. Yeah, because this gives you like the best experience, especially in Warzone. I mean, especially, especially in Warzone. Um, and 
Yeah, another nice feature that you have here with us in the Easy uh, Easy Fans is um, you can select, for example, all of North America if you would like to play on North, North America, and then deselect certain locations if you like to, or you can go the other way around and say, okay, I would like to play on this, this, and this uh, location, you know, without touching the other ones. So we, you know, we're trying to give you as a player the the opportunity that you can go ahead and do and figure it out how you like it the best. Okay, um, and that being said. This is how easy, how easy game VPN is. Um, if you should ever have any kind of complications, okay, you can always reset the firewall, reset the network, and fix the tap drivers, okay? Frankly speaking, you will never ever need this because we really made sure that the VPN and that our deactivation process is working fine on every single device. But you never know, you know, they're like how, how much? I don't know. 4 billion, 5 billion PCs out there. One of them must have something that we don't don't know or never have encountered, okay? Um, all right. Uh, that being said, how can you check if, you, you know, if your VPN is literally working, okay? Um, I will demonstrate it to you if it's okay, okay? So basically, you see I selected Brazil, Sao Paulo, and my ping would be a little bit higher, and we will see how high my ping will be, okay? All right, so we are in the game, and you can see here, all right, I'm connected to Sao Paulo and the NAT type is strict. This is what we want, okay? Um, and let's just start a game so we can see what's going on, okay? Uh, so that you can see what kind of a ping I have. So I have a ping of 46. This is because I'm located in Croatia, and therefore, you know, until I reach Germany, etc., it takes some time. Okay, let's so let's deactivate everything. So now that we deactivated everything, I would like to show you how you can actually order one of our subscriptions here, our better set packages. Um, for this reason, I will sign out with my main account. Okay, so I'm signed out and I will also remove it that you can see how the whole process is working. Okay, um, bum, bum, bum. there you go. And because we make it like a Microsoft app, it's super freaking fast. All right, so if you would like to buy one of our packages, you simply go to easygamevpn.com. Feel free to accept our cookies or not. You know, we are using them as usual, like for, for marketing purposes, but you can see more in our privacy policy, okay? I, in my case, will uh, accept it. And then you can select your package. So this is really up to you what, what you would like to use. Um, if you go, for example, with the advanced version for 30 days, um, here it's exactly description, you know, what's happening. You have 15 locations, there's easy fans included with it. Um, and then you can just simply add it to the cart or you can buy it now. You don't even have to log in. This is all up to you, okay? Um, if you choose buy now, you will immediately come to our checkout page. Uh, here, fill in your like email, whatever you like. Uh, just make sure that you have access to the email because this is where we will send you the credentials to. Also, your email is the login and everything is case sensitive. So be very careful on that one. Um, and you can also check out then with PayPal if you would like. We also offer credit card payment, but if you like to do the uh, fast checkout, you can do it with PayPal, up to you, okay? Uh, once you entered everything here, etc., uh, and you make the payment, of course, I have to say it, uh, you will get an email, and the email will, or better said, you will get at least two emails. Uh, the first email is your order confirmation, and in your order confirmation, you have the file, the install file, which is here. So you just simply download it. Uh, for whatever reason, my 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 browser, the first time when I downloaded it, uh, considered it as, as a virus, okay? My, can be that it's happening to you. Don't be afraid. It's not, okay? Uh, you can then simply open it. Uh, it's a zip file and inside you have the exe and you execute it. And you get this message, which we're still trying to figure out why is it happening, because they're saying, hey, uh, it's an unrecognized app from starting, yeah, and we prevented it. Uh, you have to click on run anyway. Okay, once again, if I go here, you have to click on more info. You can see that the publisher is Easy Game DO. This is, this is our company, so this is where we created it. Um, and we are from Croatia in Split, so 
we have fully registered, everything is fine. We purchased a certificate, which was pretty damn expensive that, to make sure that this is actually not popping up. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, it takes some time until it's uh, populated, uh, uh, distributed, sorry, that's the proper word, distributed across the globe to all the PCs, and then, you know, it's like, ah, okay, they're good. So uh, just go on, as I mentioned here, okay? So when you open it, go on more info and say run anyway. And that's it. Now the whole thing is running. You can see here again, you know, who's the publisher, etc., etc. You just click install. It's downloading all the required files by itself. You say yes, and that's it. You're ready at the login screen. This is how freaking fast we are, okay? Um, and in your second email, oops, in your second email, you have the password. Uh, you can copy this one. This will not work for you, so just straightforward. So in case somebody gets funny. Um, just copy paste it and you need to make sure that you uh, use the email address that the email has been sent to and make sure that it's case sensitive written in. And of course you can select the remember me button. Uh, once this is done, you click on login and voila, you have immediately access to all the 15 countries which you purchased, which was in this case the advanced. Yeah, I, I was buying, I, I did it already before, so it's not really like aligned with, with, with that, what you saw on the, on, the, on the ordering page, but you get the idea at the end of the day. And of course you have all this information, uh, how long it's valid, okay? And that being said, this is how easy it is with Easy Game VPN. Now, some of you guys will ask me, okay, how in the hell do you know that the VPN is working? Well, let me say this. First of all, I'm an average player. When I used to play Warzone 1 without VPN, my KD was at 0, 07, 0, 08. Let's call it, I am the bot in the lobby. And here is a screenshot of my games from November 7th and 6th, where I was playing. I know it's a long time ago. I mean, you know, I was two weeks on vacation in between and we made the launch and everything. Um, but here is a screenshot just to give you an idea, okay, what kind of lobbies I get and how do I end up, okay? And with despite, with despite this number 14 and number 12, you can see that I'm two, so let us say second, first, second, third, second, eight. And this, I was playing like quads with randoms, not even with the guys that I know, which then usually we win everyone. And most exciting for me was that I was going in most of them like roughly at 20 kills or above 20 kills, which is really a lot for me. And you can see the average lobby caddy. If you ask me what kind of app this is, I cannot disclose this to you at this moment, okay? <laughs> but that being said, the lobby kitty is even lower because not all of the lobby gets literally good scans, so we don't get all the information. Um, so this was just the average of, of two-thirds of the lobby, yeah? And don't get me wrong, there were players with 0 4, okay? And I was running with uh, three eight two eight whatever it was. Uh, I personally was always ranked between first or second or third, uh, at least top five when it comes to the KD. So yes, I do know that the VPN is working. Um, and for everybody out there who's asking what is actually the VPN doing, well, it's pretty simple, and I would like to explain it to you. Um, and I used this slide in one of my other presentations already, so it might be familiar. Um, so, first of all, when you are playing without a VPN, it's like this. You have your PC, right? And you're at a certain location. I don't know, let's call it you're in France and you're playing out of Paris, okay? So every time when you log in into the PC, it would be like, or better setting to Call of Duty, it would be like, ah, you're in Paris, ah, you're in France. Okay, now we will try to figure out the best lobby for you based on your current location and your physical location and the time, of course, what it is and based on your skill set, what you have and the additional parameters like your win ratio. And at the end of the day, what's happening is that you get a lobby with similar strong players, which is completely odd because you don't want to play all the time against same strong players, right? 
this is cut you're playing in pubs you should be if you want to play competitive you should play ranked mm -hmm. there should be SPMM but this is the world that we're in so what we are doing is literally circumventing the SPMM so what we do is at the end of the day we send the login data to the selected server that you selected remember you know when we go back to our interface uh, whatever you select here this is where you send it okay this is your login location then it's simulating a high ping to the warzone servers while as the game data is still being directly connected to the warzone servers so even if you're in france and you say let's connect to japan from a vpn perspective your ping will not that dramatically increase. And combining those both worlds is actually giving you the benefit of having a lobby with less SPM or better said with an unequal SPM. Um, don't forget there will be always like one or two teams, especially in Warzone, who are better than you or most likely are better than you. Uh, I never was in a game where I said, okay, there, maybe there was like four or five games, but generally there's always like one team, you know, inside, which is also kicking your ass. And to be frankly speaking, I was meeting a lot of streamers there. Yeah, There's only a few streamers where I really see, okay, they're playing without any kind of VPN, but I see a lot of streamers and they're all having a much, much higher KD than I have. Um, so that being said, this is how the VPN is working. Yeah. There is nothing more to be added. This is how easy it is from our perspective. So once again, I would like to repeat myself. If you have any kind of questions or you're interested in some additional information or whatsoever, or you want to have a trial, feel free to join our Discord and contact me directly. Elrond, right? So you can see me there as well in the Discord. Uh, just contact me. You can also find some guys there for, for kicking up your team. Maybe go and do some happy hunting all together, do testing all together. We also vote what kind of servers are the best ones per month. So we give you like a lot of options and we try to increase it, of course, in the future more and more. Um, speaking about the future, so this is like a big thing for me because I, I really like to, to make this like a long-term project for, for all of us. Um, I'm definitely planning to, to add more and more servers on a monthly basis to every single package. Yeah, So I really would like to increase it at some point. Um, so my idea is that we go like somewhere from like two to five servers per month so that we can really fastly grow when it comes to the servers and also add multiple loca same locations but different servers you know so that people can actually say okay there's maybe like a super good combination uh, let's split it you know 30 guys can go here 30 guys can go there um, but it's still the same location you know just different servers um, and of course we're planning a console so the console is already in alpha stage we, I have like a PlayStation guy a Xbox guy I even purchased myself again a PlayStation just to figure it out how it's best working I'm already in contact with a big producer how we can make this really happen so that it's the most easiest way for the guys on the console and of course we will try to drop the prices as as much as possible and as soon as possible but this is only working once we have really like a, a solid user base where we can say okay we can lower the prices and we can continue you know with the development and making sure that the servers are all up and running at the same time yeah? because this is really a, at the end of the day quite some job here um, so let's summarize it okay what you can expect from easy game vpn first of all it's super easy and super fast it's working without any kind of issues we have a plan for not only for today, not only for tomorrow, but till the life cycle of Warzone is over. And I doubt that it will be soon. So we're really moving in a direction where I can probably say, okay, let's bring back the, the joy to the player at the end of the day. This is, this is where I want to go, okay? And not only for the PC players, but also for the console players. And I'm really looking forward for you to meet you in the Discord, to discuss all the fun stuff, also to get your improvements, you know, that you say, hey, let's do this, let's do that. Maybe we can add this, maybe we can add that, right? So I'm really open for all this kind of uh, projects that we can all together realize and help the community to grow and improve all together in the gaming, right? Um, and that being said, happy hunting and join our Discord, check out our homepage. Till the next time.